Hi, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Go by the nickname Ginger. It's not cute not knowing. We're tugging in. Did you guys re did you guys know? Because I got into a little debate this morning with somebody. Memorial Day is next weekend. Memorial Day is May 25th, a little bit earlier than normal. With this pandemic, we don't know what day it is. We don't know what time it is. Memorial Day is next weekend. It's difficult. So many of us can't do anything, can't gather, can't go to parties, but you can still get the barbecue on at the house. So Memorial Day is Monday, May 25th. Stevie Wonder, the eighth wonder of the world, celebrating a birthday. He is 70, a musical treasure. I know that I play his music every single day here in Philadelphia. We, we never go a day without playing some Stevie Wonder. I've interviewed him a couple of times over the phone. I met him once in person. He did a pop-up concert in Philadelphia. I knew he was coming. I baked him some peach cobbler because at the time they were saying that, you know, he really loved it. Um, he loved peach cobbler. So I made him some. I was able to get past security and, and everybody and I was able to give it to him and, and just blurt out real fast because I did not want him to think I was a stalker. I was like, I'm Addie Jackson. I work for WDAS in Philadelphia. I love you. I play your music every day. I interviewed you when my boss Butterball died. And, da, 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 and I paid you something. Because I, I had to get it out fast. I didn't have time. His security, this one guy was like looking at me like. So I had to get it out real fast. And then I was like, can I get a picture? So <laughs> we do a selfie, right? <laughs> it was like a whose forehead is bigger contest going on. And I, and I couldn't take it again because, like, the security guard was rushing me because I was like, damn, look at my forehead. Wow, he got a forehead too. But damn, look at my forehead. So it's the only picture that I got. I posted it on my IG page at WDAS Patty. But my Stevie Wonder moment. He probably thought, who's this crazy girl in Philadelphia? It was me, Mr. Wonder. It was me. Happy 70th birthday. Prince is coming to YouTube, and you guys got to see it. The 1985 Purple Rain concert. Oh, I remember that so well. I had my purple on. I had the lace gloves on. My father thought I was crazy. He even told me, you take these concerts way too serious. It's 1985. It was a great show, Purple Rain. YouTube is going to have it for coronavirus relief. Prince and the Revolution is going to run for 72 hours starting Thursday at 8 o'clock. You got 72 hours to enjoy it. If you remember, maybe you went there at one of these Purple Rain shows, you could you see why I'm excited. But if you've never seen Prince in concert, this 1985 Purple Rain, it was amazing. It was. It was. For the youngins out there, just to see this 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 artist at work, a true musician with a band and singing in Purple Rain and well, they have a purple balloon. All right. Where I live, it was a place called the Spectrum. And when Prince did Purple Rain, Purple Confetti came all down when he did Purple Rain. But Thursday night, starting at 8 o'clock, Prince and the Revolution. Make sure you check it out. Michael Jackson, the musical. It's been moved to next spring. Broadway's closed. They're saying it may open a little after... Labor Day, but they want to play it safe. Michael Jackson, the musical debuts next spring. Michael B. Jordan for Coach Mag, uh, for Coach Bags and clothing and anything that's Coach. He's the spokesperson for it. They just unveil the new campaign, and it's really nice because he really he talks about his life and and where it is now. But Michael B. Jordan for Coach, look out for it. Lily Singh, YouTube sensation. She has a show late, like late, late night with Lily Singh. Comes on in the middle of the night, but she is so, so talented. I just respect anyone who can start their own brand and then people see it and they and they act on it. And NBC gave her this chance. Lily Singh, she has been re-upped 
for another season. So she's getting two seasons. Tyler Perry says the work goes on. Now, Dan in Atlanta, they've opened up. And, you know, Hollywood's is at a crossroads because they're like, how are we going to come back? Tyler Perry is leading the way with his studio. Of course, he's got a medical unit there. He's flying in all of his actors for Sisters and the Oval. They'll be tested. They'll be quarantined. They'll be able to get their results back immediately. So there'll be constant checking and making sure that the actors are safe. He works fast. He can film a 22 episode of a show, Sisters, the Oval, in two and a half weeks. Do they get lunch breaks? Yes, it's very fast. He must be like, oh, that's take we're going to use. Oh, that's take we're going to use. We're not going to be here all day. But he can film a whole 22 episode season. His Atlanta set. Get ready for new episodes of Sisters and the Oval coming soon. DMX, I don't know how he's going to get out of his tax troubles. I really don't. Now he owes $225,000 and performers can't perform. I hope they ease up on him just a little bit. John Legend's wife, Chrissy Teigen. Okay, she's more than John Legend's wife. She's a cookbook author. She cooks. She judges. She has shows. Smile. The haters are coming out of the woodwork for Chrissy Teigen. One in particular. Okay, so they're trying to say that she was stealing recipes for a cookbook. Then another well-known food blogger, chef, came after her and it's like yeah you got target and you got this and you got that and you got this well this woman got dragged to hell i think allison roman and she admitted it was her own jealousy and insecurity if you ever wonder this little auntie nugget if you ever wonder why people will come at you or attack you and you're like why are you why you ain't know me always remember People who do always upset people who don't. People who do always upset people who don't. A doer will always upset somebody who just wants to sit on the sidelines and criticize. All they want to do is criticize. They ain't doing a damn thing, but they're sitting on the sidelines and criticizing. Or they may see you moving and shaking and because they're jealous or they're insecure in their own talent. I think that's very interesting because a lot of people come after Chrissy Teigen. And I'm and that's not like I'm some huge, you know, like Chrissy Teigen fan, but I see how people, you know, be coming at her. And jealousy and insecurity plays a, a big role. That's our little saying today. People who do always upset people who don't. If you're a doer, you you get things done, you you make things happen, you don't let things stop you. Madonna. In the 80s, can I tell you, I was the biggest Madonna fan. I went to all of her shows, I went to dress up. I just loved her and I loved her songs. At 61, I think she'll be 62 in August. I don't know what the heck is going on. She she's been she's been making these quarantine videos. <laughs> Even her friends, like a Rosie O'Donnell, is like, why? Why are you doing this? Madonna is, a, you're a legend. Be like Cher. Cher's a legend. You just walk around and you like, I'm a legend. I don't, need, I don't need to do dumb things for attention. Why? Because I'm a legend. So she takes, <laughs> she was taking selfies in a mirror. And boy, you could see that fake butt. Why would she go and get a fake butt? It's just so, because she's like smaller, and then you got this butt, and it's really fake, and it looks lumpy, and it's look. Madonna, why? We're just going to say why, because when you're a legend, you don't have to do that. Rihanna is the richest female musician in the UK. You got to think of it. She hasn't given us any new music, but between her music career, the Fenty Cosmetics, the Savage X, Lingerie line. She's doing it. And later this year, Amazon will unveil the $25 million documentary. That's how much they paid for it on Rihanna. But she was recently named the richest musician in the UK. It's not cute not knowing. Let's hug. 
subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. If I hurt you, that means that I saw you. And occasionally, I know a lot of people are shocked when I when I make comments. I, I, I. Now y'all know I'm I'm older and 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 menopause, so I don't I don't I don't like foolishness. A lot of people are surprised. They're like, damn, she responded. Woo, she, she responded to my little slick comment. Yes. But leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. You can agree to disagree. Remember, what's our lesson for today, y'all? People who do always, always upset people who don't. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hit the, you know, subscribe button, tell a friend, and all, and all that good stuff in the notifications so you'll know when a video pops up. Have a great afternoon and thanks for joining me.